Hello everyone, yes, so, Last Man on Earth Season 2, this is actually coming from Comic Con, thanks to Collider.com, who actually was at the panel, I'm able to give you what's going on with Season 2, and I'm actually doing this while actually scrolling up and down, so, I didn't read all of it, and I'm actually going to read it while you guys are listening to me, alright, let's go for it, so, the panel then is asked, where season two will start off and of course you have the person who plays i forgot her name now <laughs> no, i'm glad i forgot her name thank you oh carol oh geez it came back well anyways they said that it will start our, it will start off either on the earth or in space so either a it's gonna be most likely continuing on with the group or the couple. I don't know which one you want to. Or it could just be Phil's brother who is screwed over on in space. He is screwed in space. Sorry for the spoiler for anyone who haven't seen it. But hey, look at all of my reviews. And you get to have the gist of what the series actually has to bring to the table. Anyways, so it says... Moving away from Tucson. And that's it. He seems pleased with himself. Oh, so that's all. So it looks like they're going to continue on with the idea that, my gosh, uh, just some technical difficulties, folks, because for some damn reason, Collider.com is like a freaking chicken bone in the throat and is not actually allowing me to check out everything I want to check out. You dumb idiot. Is that so hard? Okay. All right, I'm back. So, can you tell us about Jason? So, Jason. Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Jason, Jason, Jason. Well, anyways, so Jason Sudeikis. Sudakis. Well, anyways, he's going to actually be on in this newest season and it's going to maybe be in flashbacks. He might actually be flashbacks. And of course the beard. Apparently yeah. So for, for people who actually love the beard. Like for instance. Melissa. Yeah she loved the beard. So the beard is back. He's going to have the beard in season 2. Okay so there's nothing there. I mean basically they asked about. So are you gonna keep secrets as if it like just like in Mad Men and Jessica Jones I mean January Jones was like oh blah, blah, blah. So anyways it's like when the woman's being on the show well originally the first two episodes I was the only woman so I was ex just decided to represent my gender. Uh uh. And she went on to say that yes, just femininity, just like reeking of it that's why I got cast oh. everyone cracks up and act getting to act to act with Flory, Forte has been a real honor but I don't feel like kissing his butt this morning and that she already do it every day <laughs> so yeah the final episode Phil is singing a song called screw the moon that he wrote for Carol it's one of the most tender moments of the then and at the panel we learned that Mary who guest starred in the later season one episodes actually composed a song. Huh. Hmm, Mary. Okay. Yeah, so the Mary actually wrote Screw the Moon. Okay, sure. It's an okay song, I guess. It's okay. I mean, it's supposed to be funny, not actually one that'll get you a blockbuster like, Because I'm happy. Man, that sounds horrible. It's like, Because I'm happy that long get you feel. Well, anyways, let's get out of that. So, and talk about the relationship between Phil and Carol. Funny bickering, but that at the very end, they really do love each other. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they drive each other crazy, but they do care for each other. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, there's a bond there. Oh, God. Oh, God, chicken boat. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Melissa and Todd, super sweet and very genuine. And it's a sweet relationship, and it, it's really too bad that both the characters are dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't believe that's real. I don't believe that's real. And they're dead. <laughs> then why is she even in the panel then? It's like, yeah, if they're both dead. Then why is she even there? <laughs> uh, we did discuss car Star Wars and... and uh -huh, call it crazy. Okay, so they're making a new Star Wars prequel film. That's good for you. And the role of Chewbacca will be played by Will Forte. <laughs> oh jeez teases that is going to be cast a member of One Direction and 14 do anything that people watch and everyone laugh and yada 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 alright excuse me in the beginning of the series Tom <laughs> Hanks in the sea castaway. The ball friends that Phil has made for himself was clearly inspired by Wilson and Dos Santos asked if they were considering asking Tom Hanks to guest star. The answer was ambiguous. Forte only said that he got to meet Hanks once and thanked him for letting him use the footage. Then he jokingly added, he's definitely going to be on the show. And talked about our character endearing yeah so this is Carol an endearing little scrapper who has a lot of quirks and hang ups yeah she added that she loved having two guys fight over her <laughs> we have path now exciting to have fun I hope you guys like it thank you Okay, well, find ways to keep changing the dynamic and make people guessing. He added that there is always a twist and a turn, and you'll never quite know ex to ex what to expect. And the same is truly certain for season two. We can't wait. Sadly, we ran out of time and then all that stuff. So, Last Man on Earth will premiere yet again in September 27th. So everyone, that is your deadline. I am putting down a deadline. I said in my <clears throat> series review for season one is that if you guys are able to put 1,000 views on every single review of Last Man on Earth, I would do season two of Last Man on Earth. So there is your deadline. You have until September 20th. Technically September 27th, but I'll say one week early. Most of them are already there, but there's still like a few stragglers. So if you guys are able to share those videos to everyone and make sure that they all reach a thousand views. I'm not even saying a thousand likes, just a thousand views. I will do season two. So thank you for watching and well, hmm. Season 2 will be something interesting, won't it? So, thank you for watching and have a great day.